okay now, now it's a time for real time example good so uh, i think most of you uh, might have heard about a brand called mango right so mango is a uh, retail outlet where they store the different uh, multi brand uh, multi uh, item retail brand right so the primary uh, business for them is the most popular brands in the uh, uh, casuals or uh, jeans and browsers and all those things right so let's take the example of mango so if you see this picture right uh, this they are selling the lot of apparels and accessories here right so this located this mango store is located in lot to, lot on different parts of the world okay so say located one of the uh, mango stores is located in four parts of india or in 10 parts of us and a couple of parts in singapore and uh, five parts in middle east and europe right so this is covering the world so the scenario is something like this if you read out the sentences right so every outlet stores their customer data in the respective data and it's not mandatory that every outlet is using the same database right so somebody who is using running a mango store, a mango store in india may be using some database or some flat file or some excel sheet to maintain the information about their sales but somebody sitting in the US where the lot of sales are happening, they may be running their business in the Oracle database or SQL Server database or maybe in the SAP, you don't know. It depends on the business, type of business, right? So it is not mandatory that everybody should go in the same platform. So it may, the, there is a variety of data, right? So somebody use Oracle, SAP, somebody use flat files, Excel file, right? So how, how uh, SSIS can solve this problem? What SSIS can do is SSIS have the different capability like uh, it can take the extract data from different sources and it, it can uh, load into a database, right? That is what SSIS can do, okay? And once SSIS does the integration from the different variety of sources, what SSIS, which is analytics services tool can do is it can develop a cube. What is the concept of cube? Okay, so the concept of cube is a multi. It is used for multi-dimensional analysis. So very simple example: if uh, if somebody is watching the sports uh, or especially the cricket and football, right? So example: let us take a famous player uh, uh, in cricket. Example: if you take the uh, Indian captain uh, Mahindra Singh Dhoni, right, in the cricket. So example: so uh, that that that. Uh, you, you may want to ask the question, how many number of centuries uh, did Mahindra Singh Dhoni made till now? This is one question. Okay, the other question is going deep into how many number of centuries Mahindra Singh Dhoni has made against Australia? This is second question. Third question is how many number of centuries did Mahindra, Sony made, Mahindra Singh Dhoni made against Australia in Australia? And the fourth question is against Australia in India. Right? And the fifth question is against Australia playing in India in the year 2005. So the questions are going deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and it has no end. Right? If you see the pattern of the questions, it is different angle. First I asked first angle question and then I have taken two scenarios, then three scenarios, four scenarios, five scenarios. So this is a diff nothing but different dimensions I am asking. So this is a multi-dimensional questions. So the answers for multi-dimensional questions will be available in a cube, right? But how it will be available, you will see when you learn the total MSBA course, okay? And and then once you have the data there, then we, we, uh, reporting is just to present that in a beautiful format, very, very beautiful format. So when the football player comes onto the ground, they, they, they show a chart like, how many number of goals he was, he was doing in the last World Cup and what is his performance out of 100%. There's a beautiful dashboards and reports, right? So something to show to the end user, we use the reports, right? So what is our tool? We use a tool called SSRS to uh, show the reports, right? So what we do is like uh, in this diagram, you are seeing that we can generate the reports from a cube, right? So, but the reports can be generated from anywhere. It can be generated from a table or it can be generated from a flat or anywhere. It can be from a data warehouse or anywhere, right? So, reports is something it can show. So, what Mango Store does is uh, it, it, it can integrate the data from the different sources and it can form a cube and it can generate a report. So, why, the, why they have to do all these things? Example, the owner of the Mango Stores, uh, the CEO of the Mango Stores is sitting in the US. He wants to check 
how his company is doing all over the world. How this company is doing in Europe and Middle East, how his company is doing in Latin America, Asia Pacific, Japan or anywhere, right? So how the only the, the data is distributed in the different formats. It's very tough for one who is sitting in the US to read all the data present all over the world, world and see and take a particular decision, right? So what, what it will do is like it will collect the data, it will put it in the form of a cube and it will give all the answers to the CEO's question or all the answers to your senior executive, uh, uh, senior executive in the mango. So that what they do is example that they, if they see that in the uh, Europe and Middle East if they see that their sales is going down, what they do is they take out some uh, stores from there. And if they see in India, the if in India if the trend is going up, what they do is they put more stores in India. They see in which city the sale is high, the affordability level is high, and they can uh, establish the business in that way. So that is how they take the better decisions. Okay.